iTerm2 is the gold standard when it comes to terminal emulation on OS X. The last news item on the homepage dates back to July 2014. Nonetheless, George Nachmann has been very busy in the meantime and released the first beta version 2.9 which is likely to become 3.0 once it's stable. In this video I will show you 12 cool new features of iTerm2. If you want to experience them yourself, there's a link in the description. As you can see, the flat tabs fit much better into the whole Yosemite experience. There's now a cursor guide which you can activate via view and toggle cursor guide which shows you the current shell prompt. You can also navigate between all previous shell prompts by um, pressing command shift and arrow up and arrow down which is quite handy to navigate. Iterm offers a shell integration script. If you install it, you see a small arrow next to the command prompt. If you right click on it, which is quite difficult currently because it's so small, you see the command which was executed, the return code, how long it took and in which directory it was executed and also have the option to rerun the command. Another cool thing is if the return code is not zero, um, the arrow will be red, so you can spot arrows instantly. There's a new feature called Badges, which is a custom text in the upper right of your item tabs. You may either use some predefined variables or write custom functions yourself. I, for example, wrote a custom function to display my current directory before knowing there's already a predefined variable to do so. You may also change the color of the batch text by going to the Preferences, uh, check the Profiles tab, go to Colors and then there's the Batch option which lets you change the color of it. If you've got a lot of tabs open and you're trying to find a certain one, there's now the spotlight like Open Quickly Search. Just hit Command Shift O put in a recent command you use in that tab, hit enter and the item switches to the tab you are looking for. It would be cool if it would also jump directly to the shell, trom shell prompt you searched. Open quickly also helps you open new tabs with a certain profile. Just hit command shift O again and put in the name of the profile. Here it's demo. If you've got multiple profiles and use them all at once, it's not possible to tell them apart by just looking at the tab bar. Uh, now you can assign a co tab color to a certain profile by going to Preferences, Profiles and check tab color. And now it's uh, much easier to figure out which tab belongs to which profile. There is already a command completion feature in the old versions, but it had to be activated manually by pressing command and semicolon. Now there is an option to activate it automatically, but it often gets in my way and needs some fine tuning. It doesn't work right now. Nothing really comes close to the auto-completion in the fish shell. If you would like to know how long a certain operation in a script took, there's now a timestamp feature which uh, shows a timestamp next to each line in the shell. If you have trouble finding your cursor, there used to be always the Find Cursor feature. That one has undergone some changes as well and now it looks just batshit insane. Look at that! If you accidentally close the session, up until now you were out of luck, but now you can bring it back by pressing Command and Z. And it's not just the tab and the profile that has been opened again, but it's all also the, um, the session which is restored. 
which is very, very cool. Last but not least, through some escape sequence sorcery, you can now display images inside your shells in line. This is the first batch of features I wanted to show you. If you like this video, I'll make another one showing more and advanced features. As you see, I'm pretty excited over the new item and so should you be. A lot of the new stuff will help you become more productive. If you have some item tips, please share them in the comments. Thanks for watching!